Hey guys, out uh, scouting a new spot today. Uh, hiked in about uh, maybe a half mile. Um, I'm up in this this pine forest up on top of this hill, and uh, I was going to show you guys the mother canteen carrier that I talked about earlier in one of my videos. Um, it's been around for a little while. Uh, it's made by Centerline Systems. Uh, they are a U.S. company. It's all made in the USA from really top quality nylon uh, U.S. military grade stuff. So it's a it's a pretty heavy duty product, but this is what I've been hiking with today. What's nice about this product is that it's um, it's all built around your canteen kit. So it's more than just a canteen carrier. It's uh, it's an expanded survival system um, depending on what you put in it and there's lots of room to put additional items um, definitely some nice larger pockets something you just don't see in the market these days is, is a product like this so I wanted to go through what I'm carrying in my scout kit and the reasons why I'm carrying it and why I like this product so much um, so stay tuned and we'll get into it what makes this kit so great is uh, that it's all focused around, you know, probably one of the most important pieces of gear that you carry, and that's your hydration system. And uh, a metal container to have with you is a huge plus because now it gives you the ability to boil water. So <clears throat> when you use this mother canteen carrier in conjunction with the heavy cover titanium canteen, you really have an awesome combination. And now you can add, you know, add some additional survival items to this kit, and it makes it for a really nice lightweight um, uh, scout kit that, you know, really can't be beat. Scout kit, and that's kind of what I'm using it for. So, you know, if you've been watching some of my videos, there's I have a lot of different bags that I'm using, and the way I like to look at things is that there's kind of a system to it. There's a, a system of tiers. So the first tier would be what I carry on me. Second tier could be um, something of this size, just a lightweight, you know, small uh, canteen kit. And then it starts moving up. We go into the haversack, and then it could go into a backpack, and then of course into a larger overnight backpack. So this is one of the smaller pieces of kit that I own. Um, it makes it really convenient because, you know, those times when you just want to go out, get out of your truck and go hike around, check out a new area, um, you don't have to have a lot of gear with you. You can just throw this over your shoulder and it has the essentials that are going to help you uh, be comfortable and also uh, survive if there is a situation where you get caught in the woods overnight. So what I want to do is I want to go through what I'm carrying in this system and also kind of shows some of the features of the of the bag itself because it's definitely very unique nothing like it I've seen um, and it's you know manufactured by some really great Americans who are trying to you know produce a, a high quality US made product yeah. all right so the first thing you notice is that it is a kind of a traditional canteen pouch and uh, the way it looks, but it's kind of on steroids. They've ad added some additional pockets and features that make it way different than anything that's out on the market. So the first thing we have is this large main compartment on the front. That's a Velcro pocket. And in here I have uh, a whistle and a, a small signal mirror. I have my first aid kit, which is just a kind of a basic boo-boo kit. Nothing, no, it's not a trauma kit, just a, a basic uh, first aid. I uh, got a leather and micro in there so I can remove splinters and um, cut gauze, things like that. <clears throat> got some Gorilla Tape, which is awesome for repairs, and some uh, water, pur water purification tablets. So that all fits easily in this front pouch. And, you know, another great thing about this front pouch is the size of it you're probably able to put in a decent stove in here like a um, you know an ember lit uh, or maybe even like your s bit stove so definitely plenty of room for that <clears throat> over here this is another pouch and in this side pouch I just have my spork and my sack farmer and then a uh, 
a package of uh, coffee with um, creamer and sugar and uh, a silicone hot lips. On this side over here, I have my fire steel. And this is actually tethered to this Grimlock that I put on this piece of webbing here. I'll show you this, this webbing here in a second, but uh, that's why I like this, this webbing because you can add, add these Grimlocks or carabiners or whatever and, and kind of uh, safety, you know, strap in your gear so you don't have to, so you don't lose it. Two S-bit um, blocks. These are great for starting a fire. Then my signal panel from Battle Systems. Uh, you've seen this in one of my earlier videos about uh, Bushcraft Survival Kits. It's a great lightweight signaling option. Um, it's also something you can strap to your pack and, and identify yourself if you're you know, in the woods and it's hunting season or whatever. So multi-purpose item. And then a uh, butane lighter that I got some zip ties around just to prevent it from leaking. Okay, so on the front, there are four of these nylon loops. <clears throat> and these are just um, standard nylon. They're not stretchy material, so uh, they're very secure and they're great for looping in things like Grimlocks. I've got my flashlight strapped in there. Um, and here I have a chem light uh, with some cordage around it, and that way I can use this as a signaling device. Uh, so a lot of different opportunities to strap or connect gear to these webbings on the front and then on the bottom there are two webbing loops sewn in that you're able to attach extra stuff so what i've done is i've taken some 550 cord i've tied up a couple canadian jam knots uh, if you want to learn how to tie those go to iowa woodsman's channel and he has a tutorial on how to do those um, a great way to cinch down a piece of gear so what I have on here is my Bushcraft Outfitters mess tarp. And this is a, a nice uh, poncho, but also gonna be turned into a tarp. And so this is kind of a multi-purpose item for me. And inside of this, I have the, the lines to hook it up and I have uh, some tent stakes as well. So it's ready to go. It's a, it's a shelter system and it's now on the bottom of my canteen set, which is, you know, just great having that extra security. If it starts raining out here today, I can throw this on and I've got a poncho, or if I have to hunker down for the night, I can actually set up a sh uh, shelter with this. So <clears throat> that's great to have this ability to attach more gear. You know, you could strap a jacket, um, you know, gloves, hat, whatever on the bottom of this, but you have that ability to do that. Um, another great feature, which you really can't see unless I take this all apart, but there, there is a grommet on the bottom of this pouch. So if your canteen starts sweating or it's leaking, it's not going to fill up the canteen pouch and get everything soaked. It's going to run out that, that drain hole, which, um, I think is important. Now getting to the main pouch where the canteen's at, this is not only holding the canteen from heavy cover, but it's also holding the canteen cup. So that ability to carry this much equipment with you in such a small lightweight package is pretty awesome. So now I, I, you know, I have the ability to collect water, boil water, I can make coffee, I can make soup, um, and I don't have to have a big backpacking system with me. This is just in this little lightweight kit. Now the inside of this pouch, they've done a really nice job of lining this with a rubberized material. So that's going to be very durable. It's going to be very easy to clean. So if my cup gets sooty, I can just wipe this out with a washcloth. It's not going to stain the fabric. Um, it's just going to be more durable since this is kind of a, you know, a high traffic area. You're going to be putting things in and out of it all the time. <clears throat> it's really going to help with durability. And then on the back side, there is a slip pocket. And this is where I have the lid for the cup. See that? So, great capability to carry more than just a water bottle. Now I have basically a whole cook system um, with me, uh, which is really great now that it's getting cold out. You know, in the summertime it may not be that big of a deal, but I tell you, when you're hiking in this kind of weather where it's, you know, raining and 
34 degrees, um, the ability to make some coffee uh, on the trail really extends your uh, your day and helps you get through the day. <clears throat> now, the last feature I want to go over are these shoulder straps. So, it does come with a shoulder strap, uh, very adjustable, very comfortable. It is removable, so that just pops out like that. Another great feature is that if you want to remove this buckle right here, if this is in your way, this actually will completely come off. So what that is, that's just a Fastex repair buckle that they've slipped on this webbing. Now, if you're afraid that this is all going to come apart on you when you're hiking, um, I can assure you that it's not. So I've, like I said, I've been hiking around with this thing today. I've hiked with these before. Um, it does not come apart. It will stay right where it's supposed to be. And of course, just the the other nice feature of this is that if it doesn't have to be just a shoulder bag. You can actually attach it to a larger pack with a Somali or put it on a belt kit. So you have a lot of versatility with this. And, you know, you could spend the time uh, buying just a standard canteen kit uh, pouch and then sewing some additional pouches on it and putting a shoulder strap on it and all that stuff. But by the time you end up doing that, you end up spending a lot of money, wasting a lot of time um, when you have something that is already thought out and built for you. Okay, the option that you're looking at here, this is Ranger Green. They also come in Multicam, uh, Coyote, Multicam Black, and I believe there is a uh, limited edition color right now, which is Atax Arid, which is really cool looking. Um, 500D Cordura, so it's you know durable, but it's lightweight. Uh, I think 1000D uh, the quarter on this would have been overkill you know just added a lot of extra weight that's not necessary this is definitely going to hold up um like i said before this is all mil spec webbing and buckles fast text buckles uh just really high quality um gear and it's all made here in the united states um from centerline systems so if you're looking for a lightweight pouch to hold your brew kit or your scout kit this this is a great option now of course um, this you don't have to have the heavy cover canteen um, that's just what I have uh, you could definitely go with an Nalgene canteen or a army canteen in a standard army cup those fit fine this also fits a standard Nalgene bottle a 32 ounce or with a with a cup so you're not limited to just having canteens you can also use other water uh, carriers as well so all right guys thanks for watching i uh, hope you enjoyed this um, if you have any questions just you know shoot me a message either you know down below or send something to me through um you know private messaging on youtube um you know please support this company they're doing a great job make a great product and check out their website because they have some other interesting products too and one thing i failed to mention is they do have a um what they call a tool roll that goes on the bottom of this and it's kind of a neat pouch that attaches to the bottom of the, of the canteen carrier and allows you to carry even more gear so a lot of options with this thing um, it's awesome a uh, great thing to throw in your truck and just you know grab and go if you want to get out and scout out a new spot like i am today um, you know good for hunting fishing uh, summer winter it, you know fantastic products so i really enjoy mine i know a lot of guys are really digging these and using them so definitely support Centerline Systems if you can. Um, they'd appreciate it, and I would too. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.